street. <laughs> I'll give you three guesses. Where am I? I'm not in Disneyland. I'm not in Vegas. I'm not in Beverly Hills. <laughs> I didn't know you were sure. Ah, but I'm going to be in New York. Yay! Yay! Staying at the Plaza. Going to Fashion Week. Yay, yay, yay! No jelly. I've never been in New York. Well, this was going to be the perfect time for her to go with me to New York, but between the boys having school and golf, and we don't have anyone to help out on that end as of yet, it was just bad timing. It's a little too much to ask Carolina to babysit Lamar. Oh my God, she'd be like pulling her hair out. And the twins and her own two children. So yeah. anyways, so, we are all about, you know, you know, guys, we're all about goals. We're all about achieving goals. So what's your goal for 2023? 2023? A goal. Just give me one goal. goal. I got to get this in front of you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I honestly think just to be better than what I was last year and really focus on my kids and myself just really start to learn and grow as me in this new world that I'm in now. So, so learn and grow meaning what? Like just because we always learn and grow. Like, like you like should a want to. new career, new well, I don't know right beginnings. now it's options are in the air of what I want to do, but it's really all about my kids right now and so I'm focusing on that. I think just to be better than what I was yesterday. I just, I just want to grow. I'm ready to blossom. So what are you doing to achieve that growth? Having different mindsets when I wake up. Um, trying to stay positive and not let pointless things get me down, I guess. Whether they're pointless or not pointless. And just to try to be a healthier me and start walking again and start taking care of myself because I haven't done that for a while. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of all over the place. My mind is just going crazy. I don't know. So what helps is to try to focus and narrow those thoughts are all over the place down to one thing, become extremely, I don't want to say tunnel visioned, but you know, because we can all be all over the place. We can all be, and, and I'm guilty of that a million times over. I get 500 things in my head, I want, to, I want to accomplish all 500 things, and yet I know that's impossible. So I can either set and spin my wheels and try to make all 500 things happen, or I can narrow the field down to one or two things and try to become focused on those one or two things and become extremely good at it or get it done or whatever the case look my camera wants to say low battery are you kidding me i haven't even been on here this long ah! i got your charger so frustrating so frustrating so anyways why on that note why did you wear a sweatshirt? i know i'm like why did i wear a sweatshirt i'm already hot i forgot how warm it was out here but anyways <laughs> last night was the grammys Ugh, I wait all year long. I mean, between the Oscars, the Emmys, the Tonys, and the Grammys, the Grammys are my all-time favorite because it is basically music. Music, 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 music. And I love music. The Oscars, eh, I can do without. I, you know, it's about the movies, whatever. Tonys, that's always about plays and all that kind of stuff. And uh, let's see, the Emmys, the Grammys, the Oscars, and the Tonys, yeah. Grammys are my favorite. So, anyways, let's talk about the Grammys. Yes. So, part of the walk we couldn't record because the wind was blowing so profusely that you were never gonna hear us. All you were gonna hear was <laughs> So then you're going to bitch and go, use the microphones, please. So anyways, the Grammys, O-M-G. So 
I loved watching the red carpet on E! prior to the Grammys. It's like the one night out of the whole year that I literally sit still and watch something from beginning to end. Now, mind you, I get up numerous times throughout the evening to do things, get things, and do all that kind of stuff. But literally, I'm so attached to the TV for this one night out of the entire year. So anyways, uh, it started when watching the red carpet, DJ Khaled came on and he, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if he's never been nominated before. Maybe, you know, maybe I need to research this. I don't know, but it's not good music. from the way he sounded, he sounded like he had never been nominated for a Grammy before. Now, mind you, DJ Khaled is partnered with a lot of people. Like, shoot, I think almost every artist I can think of, he has collaborated with and done stuff with. But I think this is the first time that he himself, with his own song, was actually nominated for a Grammy. And he was so freaking excited. All he could do on the red carpet was just talk about how he's worked his whole life for that moment. That moment of being at the Grammys, being on the red carpet, being there with his family, being there nominated for a song. I mean, like, just, and, and he said, you know, he said, I've worked my whole life for this. I've never given up, you know, he's, he's like, and he just kept reiterating to, to the host that was interviewing them, um, how you don't understand guys, this is a moment. Like, I'm so excited. I've, I've worked my whole life for this. You don't understand. And I, 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 I can just, I remember sitting there watching him and he was just like, he just kept reiterating to the host. You don't understand. This is a moment like, Oh my God, like finally, finally, my hard work is paying off, you know? And so the same thing happened when Lizzo was it, I think album of the year, same thing with Lizzo. She went up to accept her Grammy and she was brought to tears and she was so excited. And she said, you know, my whole life, I never felt accepted my whole life. I always felt like an outsider my whole life. But you know what I did? I just, kept, I, I, I stayed true to myself and I kept plugging away and I kept focusing on my dream, on my goal. And she said, look at me now, look at me now. All those years when I didn't feel accepted because of my weight or because of the way I looked or, or whatever. I'm like, she just, she was just like, I, I just stayed true to myself and, and stayed in my lane and stayed focused and look, it's paid off. I'm standing up here with a Grammy, you know? I mean, I just, and so I guess what I'm trying to get at here is what I love is when people on a stage validate their hard work. And hard work pays off. And hard work pays off. Hard work, staying true to yourself, consistency, just determination, I mean, all of that goes hand in hand. And I think sometimes with today's society, they think it's just supposed to be handed to them. They think, well, hey, I'm here. Why, why can't I get an award? Why can't I, you know, it's kind of like goes back to now with school, with kids in a sport, you know, right. instead of a kid getting first and second, they all get an award. It, what's it called? A participation award. Yeah, they started doing that actually when the boys were little and I was like, I don't know. It's like, what do you mean you get a participation award? <laughs> yeah, you're participating. Now get out there and win. You know? right. I mean, like, I, I never understood that. As a child, I knew I wasn't going to get an award unless I placed first or second. That's how it was when I was growing up, too. It's always about like placement and everything. It wasn't about participation. And I didn't award. throw a baby fit if I didn't get first or second. I said to myself, well, I need to try harder. Right. I need to train harder. Like. I want to get one of those medals. I want first or second. There was no third, fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth. <laughs> no. Or, oh, if nothing else, I'll get a participation award. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you think these singers that don't get the Grammy, do they get a participation award for? <laughs> <laughs> How funny would that We be? know you didn't win the Grammy, but here's a participation award. <laughs> 
thanks for participating this year. <laughs> I can make fun of it because I, I think that's a sad society that we're living in that, that. Well, I think that's why a lot of people don't put as much effort into things now because sometimes it can be like more of a participation award rather than, okay, we're gonna offer first and second place, that's it. You know, it's just, it doesn't give you that motivation or drive. Uh, you know, I, I tune into the, to the red carpet so I can see the fashion which Taylor Swift knocked it out of the park. If you don't- Doesn't she always Oh, though? she just, she always does. She's timeless. She's timeless, I swear. She always looks good in everything. And then she always has the perfect hairdo and the perfect red lip. Always, I can't wear red. I can, but I don't like red for some reason. I don't think I've ever worn red in my life. <laughs> but anyways, the Grammys is, is one that I literally watch. The red carpet, I watch the Grammys. The music is unbelievable. It just amazing you know look at look at uh beyonce she broke the record she holds the record now for the person that has won the most grammys in history oh wow in history she broke that record last night so i think she's at 32 grammys so i don't i don't listen to much of her music i i listen to some i think i did way back in the day back in the day like put a ring on it yeah <laughs> remember we tried learning that dance one time and we're like yeah well, we can yeah do this. yeah yeah no but i mean I, I can remember listening to more of her music back then than i do now right um but but yeah i just uh you know look at her you know she continues to plug away she could have quit she could have quit 15 grammys ago right and said i i have enough grammys i'm running out of room but no she just continuing to plug away and rack up those Grammys and make history and and just keep going, you know? And, and that's what it's all about. It's like once you reach a goal, you don't just stop in life. You put out another goal and you put out another goal and you put out another goal. I mean, that's what life is all about. You don't just put one goal out there in life. Cause I can remember, I can remember when I did my health clubs and I, I can remember when I was trying to sell my health club there in Cheyenne and I said to my mom, why would I want to sell my health club? I mean, my ultimate dream was to own my own health club someday. I'm, I'm living my own dream. Like I'm living my dream. Like, why do I want to sell it? And she said, are you only allowed to have one dream in life? And I was like, okay. oh, you can have more than one goal, one dream. And that's when it made me realize, hell, I'm still young. There's still a lot of things in life I want to accomplish. Okay. So, that's what life's all about you know it's like name name an ultimate dream you have an ultimate dream that i have i think my number one ultimate dream is just being the best mother i can and to get my children raised and hopefully i raise them right and then after that it's i don't know you gotta figure out what tashina wants to do yeah but do you want to what's a goal you want to travel to Asia you want to climb Mount Kilimanjaro no you want I'm to become good. a marathoner no you, <laughs> mm -mm. you want to become a top chef no I actually think I think I don't know, I've done a lot of thinking and something about interior design is just really like hitting me lately it's kind of like when somebody just constantly nudges you so I'm gonna look into that so yeah What's on what's on Teresa's next list? Yeah, I couldn't do like after hearing your story of Mount Kilimanjaro. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I'll just vicariously live through you, mother, when it comes to that climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, but don't you want to travel to third world countries and see how bad they have it? I do, because it's actually it's always interested me. Especially when you went over to uh Malawi. Yeah, Malawi with the water wells. I was just I loved like that whole entire story. And it just I don't know breaks my heart for people that it makes you realize how incredibly lucky we are and how blessed we are well and that's something that i try to instill into my children like when they don't want to eat all their food or they want to waste food or they you know it's just the little things like that it's just i try to remind them that there are places in this world that are just completely different that there are children that are starving or not as lucky you know or when it comes to oh my god these shoes are ugly well it's a damn present wear it don't know what to tell you. I'm not mm. going to take them back and get you what you want. It's a present, so accept it yeah. and appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, on another note, you know, we mentioned Friday that we are done with the ranch remodels for a mm. while. Um, we have come to a point where we need to breathe. Uh, everything is done 
to a point where we can live with everything for a while. Mr. Romer wants some peace and quiet. Oh, it's definitely quiet around here. It's, it's like so nice. Cricket. It's so nice. <laughs> I got up this morning and I'm like, yay, back to my morning walks. I don't have workers here anymore. I can do my own thing. I'm going to train with my trainer twice a week. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm in heaven. I'm like, I'm in heaven. So yeah, there's going to be some other stuff we want to do, but it requires nice weather for a period of time, not just one or two days to be able to do those things on the punch list so of course you know it's never ending the, the team will always be back here doing things we've got landscaping stuff to do so anyways let's get inside and wrap this thing up so guys also wanted to let you know that uh on my website truceworldmer.com we have got three bundles three beauty bundles on sale for Valentine's Day. So if you wanna get over there and get yourself a little present, you know, that's what I do. I buy my own presents for Valentine's Day. I'm like, that's okay, honey, I got it covered. I, I already went and did my shopping for myself. So anyways, we've got the Beyond Beautiful Bundle, which is the foaming cleanser, the vitamin C serum, the collagen serum, and the eye cream. So that's the Beyond Beautiful Bundle on sale. Uh, I think it's for 60 bucks. Uh, then you've also got the uh, power bundle. The power bundle is, of course, my original bundle, which is the cleanser, the toner, the moisturizer, and the eye cream. And then, and I think that's on sale for 60 bucks. And then you've got the youthful bundle. So the youthful bundle is all four of my serums, the vitamin C serum, the collagen serum, the vitamin E serum, and the hyaluronic acid moisturizing serum. And if you get all four of those serums, you get a bottle of toner for free. And that is called the Youthful Bundle. And I think it's on sale for $70. So run over to my website and get yourself a bundle for Valentine's Day. You know, a girl's gotta do what she's gotta do. You gotta shop for yourself sometimes. Or tell your man to get over there and get your, or your loved one, your significant other, your lover, whoever, Tell them to run over there and get you a beauty bundle. They're all three on sale on my website. So get over there and get one now. I have to share this with you for a real fast second. So remember during Fashion Woodlands Fashion Show, we had the Make-A-Wish Foundation little girl, Sydney. Um, so I just recently got a cute little letter from her in the mail. And I wanted to read it to you. So it says, Teresa. In a very short period of time, you went from being a stranger to being a very important person in my life. You are such an amazing human for all the charity work you do. And after you made my wish possible, I have had a new perspective on life that anything, anything is possible. I am beyond excited for Fashion Week and can't wait to experience this once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you again so much for making this happen. I hope you have the best of the holidays and a happy new year. See you in New York, Sydney. So a lot of you always wonder why I do what I do. And it's right here. It's right here. In a very short period of time, I went from being a stranger to be a very, to being a very important person in her life. That's what it's all about, guys. Like, like, you hope that you make such an impact on a young person's life that not only right now, but hopefully years to come, say 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, she tells this story of this woman that she met that changed her life. And, and so hopefully, hopefully I'm still on this earth, but hopefully even long after I'm gone, her or other young people, and I'm not even going to say young people, maybe older people, I don't care. I mean, like I, I touch a lot of people's lives. And so my legacy is so... I don't know, some of you are like, oh, I want my legacy to be that I was just the best mom or the best 
hairdresser or the best makeup artist or the best this or the best, you know, my, I want my legacy to be that I touched so many people's lives and I helped change so many people's lives for the better. Like I, I can remember a couple different people on one hand that if I had to go back and say that person made an impact on my life, like I can remember I was 14, 15, and I was bussing tables for the first time at this restaurant. And you know how sometimes when you walk and you kind of drag your feet, like you can tell you're not, you're not picking them up walking. You're just kind of like, <laughs> and I remember my boss and, and she was a gray haired lady, but she was so stunning and beautiful. Like she wore, you know, you, you see those women with the gray hair and you, they pull it up and they just have this bun on their head and they're just so elegant looking. Well, that was this woman. She owned this restaurant and I couldn't just remember. She just looked at me and she said, if you don't ever remember anything I ever tell you or teach you, you're going to remember this one. Do not ever let me catch you dragging your feet. That is so unprofessional. I don't want my customers to hear that. And I was just like, God, lady, get over yourself, you know? But isn't that amazing that to this day, I still remember that important thing she was trying to teach me. And now when I hear people drag their feet, <laughs> it drives me crazy. It's like kind of weird. But anyways, I, I hope to be one of those people that, that somebody like Sydney says how I changed their life and, and how I went from being a stranger to a very important person in her life now, you know? So, so amazing. And, and then I just happened to, you know, one of my peeps, Lewis Campos, he, uh, he loves sending me cards, Christmas cards, New Year's Eve, whatever, now Valentine's Day. So such a cute card, but he wrote on here. And it's so cute. The, the Hey Peeps picture from In My Closet from Fashion Woodlands. Isn't that cute? So cute. Gonna frame that, put it in the closet. Anyways, he said, Teresa, you wrote Dreams Come True in the book that I received last year from the Mystery Box. And you were right. It was a dream to meet you and your family and be welcomed in your home and your closet. I know you don't really celebrate Valentine's Day because everyone is a blessing or every day is a blessing, but so is everyone. Um, but here's another card to add to your collection. Happy Valentine's Day, Luis. I can't wait to see the finished videos, but um, just like another one, you know, I'm always talking about how dreams come true. And that was a dream come true for him was to finally meet me in person and be at Fashion Woodlands and my house and my closet and all that kind of stuff. But an amazing, beautiful Valentine's Day card. Thank you, Louise. So, um, so I want to just take a minute and write on my whiteboard. You know, it's my white wall. <laughs> who, who just needs a white wall? Got to have a white or a whiteboard. You got to have a white wall, right? So um, some people don't know how to establish goals, how to make goals dreams come true. And so basically we start right here with number one. We're going to put dreams slash goal. Two, you got to stay focused. Number three, consistency. Number four, hard work. It's like I was trying to tell you during the Grammys, you know, each and every one of these artists that talked, whether it was on stage or on the red carpet or whatever, 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 um, they all had the same thing come out of their mouth that I am constantly putting out of my mouth to you guys. You know, and anyone that has achieved a goal or achieved fame or achieved any kind of success they are going to come up with the same exact, it's, it, you're not really reinventing the wheel, guys. You're not reinventing the wheel. It's not like you're going to go, oh, how do I make it happen that other people can't make it happen? We all do the same thing. We all do the same steps 
And sometimes it happens rather fast. Sometimes it takes years and years and years. There, there is no time frame on success. It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. But it's not going to happen unless you put in the hard work. Just like Lizzo said, just like DJ Khaled said. I mean, all of these artists, every single person that stood up there and accepted a Grammy last night, they all said the same thing. They've been at this forever and ever and ever, and it's finally paying off. So we've got, you put your dream and your goal up there. You got to stay focused. You got to stay consistent. You got to do your hard work. Stay in your lane. Never give up. It's pretty much that simple. It's that simple. And some people are like, tell us the secret, Teresa. Tell us the secret. It is not a secret. Like I said, do you think each and every one of those Grammy artists last night got a participation award even though they didn't win? <laughs> no. They left there last night feeling wonderful because, number one, they were nominated. That's a goal. That's an achievement in itself. But they left there last night going, what can I do this year to make sure next year I'm on that stage accepting one of those awards instead of leaving feeling defeated? Like I said, normally when somebody goes up and gets the award, they go 10 time nominated so-and-so finally won the award, blah, blah, blah. They always say how many times you've been nominated. Some people have been nominated 20, 30 times and still haven't won a Grammy yet. But that doesn't stop them from continuing to try to make sure that one of these days they are on that stage accepting that award. So guys, I hope today you got the message. I hope today that somewhere in this video you understood what I was trying to convey to you guys. Um, and, and whether it's the Grammys or whether it's something else, like we all have goals and dreams. We all want to achieve certain things and you can't let other people stand in your way and you have to be able to put forth the effort that it takes to make things happen. Things just don't happen because you don't just wake up and go, I know today it's going to happen because I'm saying so. Yes, you got to speak it into the universe, but you also got to put forth the hard work. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are in New York this coming weekend, I'm going to be in New York Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So hopefully I'll see you around. If not, whatever, whatever. But anyways, I'm staying at the plaza. So come by the plaza, say hi. Uh, I will be at Cesar Galindo's uh, fashion show on that night of the 13th. Uh, I think we've posted it quite a few times. If you haven't gotten your tickets, I think there might still be tickets available. So we're gonna post that up right now too. Um, and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys. So with that said, make sure you check out my link tree information. My link tree information contains all of my social media information. So if you're looking for all of my social media platforms and where to find me, check out my link tree. We're gonna post that also. And until next time, bye-bye.